Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm reviewing slash opening LEGO VIP set number 40515 Pirates and Treasure VIP add-on pack. It has 103 pieces and this is, I believe, currently available with purchases of $65 or more or is it $50 or more at lego.com. Haven't checked the details of those of that promotion but it is available for vip members only and my reveal video on these is getting a lot of attention now because i mean it's like a year and a half old but um but they finally started rolling these out so i'm really interested in exactly what these are because i thought they looked really cool when they were revealed and i'm excited to open this and see what kind of pieces are in here here's a quick look at the back of the packaging we do have the vip logo on here um, I think this might be the first Lego set ever to be branded as, like, VIP only. Like, they de they definitely have had, like, free gifts and stuff before, but I don't think I've ever seen them, like, brand something so clearly as VIP, like, exclusive. So that's kind of interesting, but there do seem to be some pretty cool pieces in here. I just don't want them to spill everywhere. Alright, we also have this bag of smaller parts, so I'm going to go ahead and dump it out in the corner here. And then we can start digging through and seeing what LEGO has given us. Okay, so I guess we'll start off with the smaller bag. There are some pretty cool accessories. Ooh, golden frogs. It's pretty nice. Always like a golden frog. We also have this sextant piece that's been around for a little while now. It'd be interesting to get it in a new color, but I don't expect LEGO to do exclusive parts for something like this. Uh, ooh, these are, okay, so these are lacquered gold ingot pieces. I'm glad that they gave us the lacquered versions and not the uh, pearl gold ones. We've also got just some common pieces, like 1x2 uh, dark tan, like, tile, or, sorry, plates. I'm, like, not thinking straight right now. And then there's a bunch of gems. Only red and blue, it looks like. I Oh, and clear. I feel like LEGO could have given us, you know, yellow and green as well. We have little chains. I do really like these pieces. There's some transparent yellow parts, which I'm sure you could use as, like, candles. Uh, these black cylinders, I think, are shots for the cannonball. And then, as you can see, there's a lot of skeleton pieces, because I think you do get enough parts to make two skeletons with this one set. As for the larger pile of parts, we do get a shark, which is a nice inclusion. You can never have too many Lego sharks. I think I will be throwing him into the harbor of my city. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, we get some lanterns. So these are actually, these are really nice accessories to get because I really like these newer style Lego lanterns. Um, I mean, they're not really new anymore at this point. They're like four years old, but I think we got four of them. Yeah, four of these. So that's really nice. Like these are great accessories to have. We also have a treasure chest, so you can stock this full of most of those gems, but probably not all of them. Um, I mean, a newer treasure chest would be nice, because they did make a new lid piece for this for Harry Potter for 2022. But hey, I'm not really complaining. I don't want to fill that right now, though, because that'll take a long time. We get two black barrels. These are really nice pieces, because they're pretty new. Like, they used to be old. <laughs> like, they used to, I think they used to exist in, like, the 90s. Um, but Pirates of Barracuda Bay was the first time we saw these in black in, like, decades. Um, so I think it's really nice that LEGO includes two of these here. I actually think I'm going to use these on my 1989 Batmobile, like, minifigure scale limited edition one, because that set used, uh, gray barrels, but I think that they would look a lot better in black. So now that I have a couple extra, I think that's where I'm going to put these to use. We've got a couple of bottles, and there are some goblets as well. I don't know what these, um studs with the hole through them are for. These pieces are lids for the barrels, clearly. And then we do get a cannon in this set, which is great to see. I love this Lego cannon piece. Um, I've always been a very big fan of them. You just pull back on this spring-loaded part and then it like fires off cylinder pieces. We have a couple of leaves, but I don't really think that you can build trees. Like, there's nothing really to build a tree. You do have a ship's wheel, and, like, you've got this piece that you can put it in, but, like, I mean, I guess they do give you some of these, like, palisade bricks, so you could try to, like, build something with this. Um, and I mean, like, yeah, you've got, you've got some long plates, you've got a couple of these fence parts, you've got this piece. So I think you, you might be able to build, like, a small, not even a raft, like, I, I don't know what you can build with these pieces, really. Um, this set kind of reminds me of a Brickmasters, you know, like one of those books that come with like the pack of parts and then you can build something that like you see in the book. 
that's what it really reminds me of, but there's not enough actually useful parts to build something here. It really is just a bunch of accessories. These are really nice parts though. We get two printed Jolly Roger flags and they are printed on both sides. I don't think I've even seen this print before. I mean, maybe it was in Pirates of Barracuda Bay because that's the only like recent Lego Pirates set. But again, I didn't think that they'd make something new for this set. We've got three cutlasses, it looks like. Um, we do have a couple of animals. Ooh, two parrots. I thought there was only one. We get two of this parrot piece. That's pretty nice. These parrots are not very common anymore. There's a golden chicken, which I really, really love. Um, I think that's adorable. And then we've got a printed treasure map here, which is a fairly common part as well. We do have a big anchor, so I guess you can hook this up to those chains and anchor your little raft. Um, and then, like I said, you have enough parts to build two skeletons. So I think let me just use these pieces to whip something up and then like we'll see what kind of build I can come up with. All right, so here's what I've come up with and <laughs> it's it's not very good. So I've built like not even a raft, but just like a little bit of a top of a ship that's broken off. So you have a steering wheel or ship's wheel in the middle here on this tall column. Um, I do have an anchor built on top of a stack of cannonballs. This would probably make the entire thing sink though. We have two flags up on top that are topped off with golden frogs as just like detailing. I've used the ingots to just add some detail to the sides of the railings here. I put all the goblets on the ground so they can drink to their heart's content. And then I built this weird little like moving section using this like kind of cage piece. So inside we have the treasure chest that's also topped off with golden frogs and it's full of gems. And then we've got the cannon on the end here. So it's very strange and I did not use all the parts that I wanted to. I did build the two skeletons. Um, I think it's really nice that we get two skeletons in this set. I was kind of only expecting one. But I didn't get to use the golden chicken, which is a piece I really like. I don't have a place to put the two parrots. I have these barrels have two gems each, one barrel with clear, one barrel with red. You can see I actually stuck the gem through the lid to keep them in place. I mean, I guess I could put that guy on there. Um, I didn't use the sextant either, but again, I guess, oh, nope, that doesn't connect that way. Um, so yeah. So yeah, you can't really use like all of these pieces to build something cohesive. I also wanted to use, oh wait, I guess I can just clip the leaves right here and pretend like the flagpoles were pulled off of trees. Okay, that's cool. I, I feel like the leaves make that look a lot better. So, so I do like that, um, but I don't really know where to put the lanterns. I'm sure they're supposed to go on the clips, but I wanted to use the clips so that more stuff could be connected to my little raft. Um, but I think that this is a pretty fun little set, like you can build something out of it. And I think that, you know, again, it does remind me of those Brickmaster sets. And I had a really good time with those when I was younger. I did have the Pirates one, and I just loved that thing. And so like, this is what it reminds me of. Um, I do wish like it would make more sets like this, honestly. I guess the classic sets are kind of like this, but the classic sets are too basic for me. I'd really like to see them roll out of a line of something like this that isn't just a VIP exclusive, that has a bunch of accessories, that but also has bricks so that you can actually build something small for just like, you know, like $10. So I really like this set overall. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.